Hello. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about your assignment. It has to do with the flu. Brace yourself. It does not have to do so much with the coronavirus as it does the Spanish flu, which is something that uh, it was a pandemic about 80 years ago. Now, this is a great example, and this is where you're learning about it today, of how learning in school history, if you will, um, makes us a better society. The Spanish flu was horrible. Over half a billion people, not million, billion people were infected. I think it was around 50 to 100 million people died from this flu. And a big part of that reason is because the government, the world leaders, didn't do anything. They didn't know that much about it. So there were no quarantines, nothing. You didn't read about it in the papers, nothing. There was no protocol, if you will, set up. Because of that, it spread like crazy throughout the entire world. Today, you see governments taking all this action, closing down businesses, closing down schools, things like that. They're doing that because here's what they know. 80 years ago, it did not work when they didn't do anything. So great example of how um, we're learning from our history. I also wanted to point out one very prevalent thing. When you read about this or learn about it, you're going to find it was really horrible. Big difference between the Spanish flu and COVID-19 is that, unfortunately, the Spanish flu, um, the hardest hit people or the um, ones who lost their lives were usually um, younger people, children, teenagers, that type of thing, versus the coronavirus that adversely affects older people, the elderly and people that are already sick. So don't let this freak you out. I want you to um, just kind of think about it. And when you're hearing all these things on the news and you're, you're wondering, oh my gosh, why are they doing this? A lot of the things we're doing are a response or things we have learned to do or not to do because of the Spanish flu. So you have a article similar to this might look a little different um, for you assigned on freckle today if you have questions about how to log into freckle click here on your ios bookmarks you look a little different go down to technology sites and i included a link that will um, show you how to get logged on to freckle if this is your first time so um enjoy i hope you have a lovely day